Subscribe. Manchester United nil. Liverpool five. What a disgrace. What a disgrace of a performance. A performance that looked so bad that I didn't know if I was watching a top team absolutely outclass a good side in Manchester United. And maybe I'm being a bit generous. Or Manchester United shoot themselves in the foot time and time again. Probably was a bit of both. You know, I thought at the start there were a few signs of something. But when you go out at home to sit back and counter-attack against one of the best teams in the world. And then you fail to stay disciplined within that shape. Whatever that is. Of course you're going to get smoked into the sky. I've said it to the point that I'm just sick and tired of speaking already. These stop-start performances ain't going to work against the top teams. And here is the proof. Proof in the pudding. All them games, man were gassed after Atalanta only to see this. <laughs> A historic fixture, Cappy. 4 0 in the first half. Heads were gone. Passion was never there. <laughs> you know, there's a banner in Old Trafford that says it's glory and honour. Where were those things today? Hmm? No way. Most of the players on that pitch and the coaching staff should be embarrassed. That game was a disgrace to the football club, to the fans, those that for years took the time to build up everything that we are known for today. Or before at least, because this is a new club. I do not recognise Manchester United anymore. Let me start on those jokers at the top. Avram and Joel Glazer and whoever else wants this smoke. I hope you're happy sucking every bit of cash. Hmm? You can get out of this club while you watch performances like that. Funny thing is, they probably don't even know what Manchester United versus Liverpool means to us. They probably only just remembered we had a game today. They are the toxic leeches that are killing this club. They already tried to wipe away the history a year or so ago. So what makes you think they really care? In the summer, coming with your foolishness, apologies, acting like you want to change. Change what? I told everyone, don't get gassed because we had one good transfer window. There are still many things to patch. What is clear to me now, even more, is that unfortunately, and it hurts my heart to say this, but Ole and his coaching staff are not good enough for the job and what we need right now. He took us to a certain level and we thank him for that. But now he is at risk of ruining the great job that he did at the start by mending the relationship between the players as well as you know the players and fans as well as bringing the team to semis and a cup final we now need to reach another level and it just seems like he doesn't have the capacity to achieve that it's a shame but to me it's the truth but then again I, i'm saying all this but he's not gonna leave anytime soon and if he does bloody hell I mean, listen, I ain't going to say anything to insult the man. He's a, he's a club legend. He's a club great. Whatever you want to say about him. But what I know now, him, his coaching staff, it's not going to work if Manchester United want to win trophies anymore. You know what? Let me, let me take over, CM. Let me take over. I want to speak to some of those players because I have to believe that they dodged a bullet from time to time. A lot of you guys, and you know who you are. Disgraces. I 
absolute disgraces. Biggest game of the season. And all I see are half-hearted presses. Players skipping past you like a ballet dancer gliding by a tree. I am sad. I am at shock. I am absolutely gobsmacked after watching that CM, CM, man. Oh I'm not. God. This whole club is under ruins. Looking at Ronaldo, he probably wonders why he chose to come back in the end. Why didn't I go to City? He ain't gonna win nothing here. We got Pogba. He started on the bench. Horrific challenge, of course. But why is he on the bench to start with? Sancho, big, big money. A lot of scouting, I would imagine, just to sit on the bench. Getting that Donny van der Beek treatment. Don't even get me started on him. Poor Donny van der Beek. I could speak about more. The organisation defensively was a horror show. Tales from the crypt. Constant mix-ups. No communication. And then when everything goes wrong, you see the images of the guys that look absolutely confused. Including all of the coaches sitting on their beautiful seats. I don't even have much to say today, CM, because I'm in shock and everybody watching this, but I know you guys are in shock too. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comment section below, but hear this. You can live to see another day, hmm? but then don't abuse that luck because a football pitch can be a very lonely place. When pressure rises, you only lose space. Suffocation can't be erased. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.